Hey guys, what's going on? Today we are going to be playing another one of the mini golf maps. This is uh, Cherry Blossom, map number two. And uh, this one's slightly harder, and I'm not very good at it. I don't play it very often. This one is one of the is a tricky hole, even for me. And I'm in. That was not what I wanted to do. That is what I wanted to do. Still birdie chance. There we go. Still starting off around strong at negative one. Going into the third hole. Aw. Oh. Oh, you're kidding me. Look at that. Disappointing. This one, there really is no great way to get through. Pretty much your best bet's just to go around. But it's a par four, so you've kind of got room to go. Right? Get yourself in a pretty good position for par. Maybe even birdie if you play this just right. And we still stay at negative one. This one's a par three. Got a birdie putt here. That takes our round down to negative two. Pretty good. This hole is just pure skill. This is pretty hard hole. And that's gonna take our round back up to negative one. And try my best to cap it off up here. Didn't work. It still sends it towards the hole for easy putt for birdie. And now, this one. Chaos. Of course. It's chaos. And that sets us up for an easy, easy putt for birdie. Put our round on the negative three. Last hole in front nine. That was not the way it was supposed to go. That is the way it was supposed to go. And put it in for par. Pretty easy. Keeping all around at negative three. Oh, that didn't work out. That was not a, my plan. I did not expect to do that. This one's a par five, so it leaves room for mistakes. Well, we can still put it in for a pretty easy par. Nice. Too high. It's not going in, so I guess we're gonna have to take a bogey on this one. Putting it up to negative two. Going into hole number 12. Nice. 
base. Put it in for an eagle. Almost hole in one. This hole, there's not really a specific way of doing it. There's no direct hole in one route, it's just by chance. And just take a minute to go to the waterfall and be on the car too on the course, I'm pretty sure, so. Looks like we're going on the bamboo shoots. We're still along the possible putt for birdie. Just outside of the rim. But easy part. We're on now on hole 15. Next hole is a plinko hole. Which I always like plinko holes. So pretty fun. We are around is at negative four. Can we make that negative five by jumping it up? Just right. Not quite. But easy putt for par. Now to the plinko hole. Looks like we're going to the very edge of the square with the hole in it. Pretty good line up for birdie, but missed, so I put it in for par. Going on to hole number seven. These little black dots on the mat are there for a reason. Kind of shows you how to get a hole in one. I didn't do it exactly right, so I'm going for birdie. Still leaving our round so far at negative five. Now this hole. This is the only par seven in the whole entire game. Not just the course, but the whole game. Ah. Oh. Well, that just sucks, don't it? Crap. Oh, there goes our negative five round. Think this, it'll still be negative two. Well, it looks like we'll only be negative one for this round. Still, I think, beating my course record. The whole, the stroke limits? Stroke limits nine? On a par seven? It's not right. Nope, our hole's negative one. For some reason, I took 11, even though I was only at nine. No, yeah, it was 11 maybe. All right, and back to the menu. Hope you guys enjoy the video, and I will see you in the next video.